Ah, uh, you just can't play an honest game of skill anymore. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cheesiest strategies in video games. For more gaming videos, check out our new spin-off channel, Mojo Plays, for in-depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays. Game smarter. For this list, we're looking at the strategies in games that come off as pure cheese. Whether it be exploiting a game's mechanics, resorting to cheap, simple tactics, or even interfering with the game's code, all forms of cheesiness will be explored. Number 10. Camping We're starting off a list with what could be described as a housefly problem. It's way too common and it's beyond annoying. Part of the thrill of online games, shooters specifically, is hunting down enemy players and successfully eliminating them. So when someone is sitting in one spot with their eye on one or two entry points, the game can get very boring. Are you really gonna suck all the fun out of the game just to up your KD ratio? Number 9. One Tricking my thanks. Thanks. These players put the one trick into one trick pony. You know, those people who choose the exact same character and loadout every time? Come on, venture out of your comfort zones, people. Certain games kinda require diversity. Not enough support or too many DPS classes could result in a terrible match. By the same token, choosing the same character and only using one attack, however effective, can be pretty dull. If you don't know how to play as the other characters or use different weapons, why not try to learn? Number 8. Save Scumming Now, here's a cheesy tactic that pretty much everyone has used in one point in their gaming careers. Losing progress sucks, so what better way to avoid it than by saving your game right before a really hard level or boss fight, and then right after, and then three or four times after that. We understand that this isn't the cheesiest strategy, but it often removes any of the challenge from certain things, taking away from the immersion and satisfaction of completing those tough challenges in the end. Hey, we're not here to tell you how to play your games, but you might feel a sense of accomplishment if you stop safe scumming so much. Number 7. Map Glitching When a multiplayer game releases a new map, there's bound to be some glitches. Sometimes they just appear in patches that actually improve performance. Of course, you get a handful of people who will happily exploit glitches just to add to their win count. Exploits can allow players to go out of bounds without penalty, clip through floors, and squeeze into tight corners. Simply put, you're taking advantage of unintentional bugs just to pull out that win. After encountering these players, we've never been more excited to see the patch notes. Number 6. Turtling This method is an awful lot like camping, but it's a problem that's all too frequent in fighting games. Turtling is when a player backs up to the far end of the stage, only attacking on occasion. We understand using this when health bars are low and the time is short, but when a player is turtling the entire game, well, you just don't want to play anymore. Yeah, it can be kind of funny when you're trying to troll a sibling, but just leave that stuff to when you're fighting friends, not total strangers who want to get a few good rounds online. You win. Number 5. Exploiting AI Okay, this one we can all admit to partaking in, right? We realize that we could ignore the different ways to cheese bosses like the Shredder, but where's the fun in that? Exploiting broken AI can be hilarious and take away hours of your time. Once you figure out how to wipe an enemy off the plane of existence just by walking to a different screen, it becomes an entirely different game. Hey man, sometimes we just can't help ourselves when we figure out how to play God. Yes, doing this can totally break a game on occasion though, but nah, maybe we'll make an exception because sometimes it's fun to be silly like this. Just look at Skyrim. Maybe you're looking for something particular. Number 4. Button Mashing It's the strategy of not having a strategy. This is exactly what it sounds like, you just mash the buttons. We understand why some gamers might do this, either to troll the other player or because they're, you know, just too new at a game to learn the moves properly. This is a strategy that can work, but it can only get you so far though. Kinda hard to block attacks when you're frantically jumping about and pressing all the attack buttons, don't you think? The lesson here is maybe just put some time into learning how to play, or come on, at least put up a decent fight. Number 3. Cheats We aren't really talking about cheat codes here either, because if you're playing a single player game, whatever, if you want to break it, you can break it. Our primary focus here is on gamers who use cheating software, like 
aim bots, wall hacks, auto headshots, the whole nine yards. Using cheats tells us that the player would rather sit back and let the computer help them get eliminations rather than play and improve their performance. While some people might find this kind of funny, it straight up breaks the game and ruins it for everyone, so no it's not. There's just no integrity in this one. Number two, lowering the settings in PUBG to see better. Now, here's where the cheese really shines. By lowering your graphic settings, you can stop fog and grass from rendering at a certain distance, potentially revealing locations of enemy players. We can definitely sympathize with those using less powerful computers, but for those who intentionally do this just to have an easier time, come on, dude. The worst part is, this is practically a legal form of cheating, since you can't tell if your opponent is using a powerful computer or not. The best you can hope for is that they play with honor. Number one, spawn killing. There are much better ways to spend your time than learning every single spawn point in a map. Spawn killing is literally the cheapest strategy when it comes to getting up your kill count. Enemy players barely have a chance to react before they get shot, stabbed, or blown up. A skilled spawn killer can eliminate an enemy team very quickly, leaving many an angry player in his or her wake. While your teammates may be cheering you on for winning the game, deep down, you know what you've done is just bad etiquette, right? Have you no shame? Enemy recon in the air. Recon in your area. Recon searching for targets. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.